We are uh, absolutely live. This is live. This is two people we should know very well. Uh, Ling Ling, Peach player, local, uh -huh. and Nick C, a renowned Falcon player and uh, pretty likable hype guy. Yeah, Let's be real. Definitely. Every time Nick C gets behind the stick, he's like, yo, man, what's he going to go I for? I mean, you'd have to be a pretty crappy person to play Falcon and people not like you. <laughs> like, Playing Falcon Yo. is like a 7 out of 10 automatic. Oh, oh my god! My god! 7 out of 10? You mean like 17% all that he's sitting on going into stock 2? Yo, can we talk about the dunk to the knee? My yeah. man, my look. man, Nick C is the knee specialist. Yo, look. <laughs> <laughs> the, you know the guy, you go into the doctor's office, right? They tap your knee with the hammer. You kick uh -huh. out. He's like, yeah. no, that's Th me. Yeah, that's come out with my Captain Falcon helmet. Don't bend that. Don't extend that <laughs> knee. You keep that knee bent. Absolutely. But no, nah, Nick, uh, Nick C is pretty good. But Ling Ling is nothing to shake a stick at. As we say that, he takes 5% on, uh, on his second stock. Mm -hmm. Taking that stock from Nick C. You can't, you can't, you can't shake a stick and Ling Ling, but he can shake his crown at you all as he likes. Excellent kill move right there. Follow oh up with a peach. God. Peach strings are just insane, He's man. not done. Peach strings are crazy. And yeah. Falcon is combo food. He's big, he's heavy, he falls fast. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And just like that, still on that 5%, and Nixie might just die here. He has yes. an edge guard situation. Yep. Getting back to the stage pretty nice. Falcon very fast, so he can cross over Ling Ling pretty easily. Yes. If he does get back to the stage, that's going to be a throw combo into potentially big damage. Follows this... Dodge. Yeah, definitely. And this matchup, it's so explosive because once one of these characters touches the other, they're taking damage for it. Like, you, yes, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty difficult to get out of uh, disadvantage. Peach having slightly a better time get, coming out of disadvantage, but it's still not free. No, Ooh. absolutely not. Yo, oh that was so good. Yo, so okay, he yeah. hopped Talk up to, us about to, that. to avoid the get up attack. Uh -huh. Comes down, then follows up the lack of attack chase with the reverse back air, mm -hmm. and it was so good because he floated right on top of the get up attack. Being able to dodge it and then just kill them for it. That was so nice by uh, Ling Ling. Yeah, very nice. Sitting them down on the last stop. This has been two minutes. This feels like it's been the fastest two minutes I <laughs> yeah, have seen this all is, day. This is really good. All right, the counter going for some next level reason. Maybe just a miss info. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Ling Ling actually air dodging out of the way. Yeah, the back here. Yeah, the chance. Nick good C. bread and butters there. Ooh, and I'm not mad at that attempt. Woo! See, I'm Yo! not mad at that attempt. He wasn't ready. Okay, so what happened right there, yeah. right? The up beat clank with the parasol. Uh -huh. uh, so when that happens, when a grab clanks with a hit, you uh, get put into like this grab release stuff, yeah. whatever. So he got grab release. Grab. He's like, what's going on? Why am I falling down? And he wasn't ready to up beat right afterwards. Yeah. So it had no knockback going up. The, up, uh, the, the angle just sent him straight down, and he wasn't ready for it. Ooh, and he's bringing this. I mean, just because Nick C's at 130 doesn't mean Ling Ling is safe. He is by no stretch of the imagination. Ling Ling is not safe. No, absolutely. Oh, Mr. Saturn coming in for the combo. Nice. nice. Some people like to call that the worst item in the game. Some people don't really like using it. But I like I like myself some Mr. Saturn. Now let's let's be real. Uh -huh. Mr. Saturn, I think more than anything, although he's a pretty decent projectile, uh -huh. it's the threat of the shield. Exactly. Break. Taking exactly. away shield in the matchup with Peach is devastating yes. because she already has really crazy ass shield pressure. Yep. But if you don't have crazy movement, which even Falcon does, yeah. you you just can't have that defensive option. You you've got nothing going on for you. You just gotta like, well, I guess I'll die now. For sure. For I sure. guess I'll hold something, and you don't want that shield break. Mm -hmm. Peach will hurt your ass for sure. Absolutely. Break. And the crazy th and the crazy thing is, not only is Peach like really good like aerially but she can hold on to mr saturn while still throwing out those aerials mm -hmm. so now you can't you essentially can't use your shield button against peach who excels off of one touch yes so now it's, it's just a scary situation just because yeah. peach has it uh in her hands excels at one touch and then mr saturn actually stays active pretty well his uh -huh. bounce is very slow and he yep. does actually walk around a little bit it's maybe a bit easier to take control of mr saturn because of that if you get the chance uh -huh. but that is if you get the chance and yeah. ling ling's not the type to give you chance exactly ling ling definitely a character specialist he's been rocking this peach since smash 4 so he, you're not going to show him something that he hasn't really seen before all right and then the blender right now 65 percent looking for another conversion that's a good shield poke goes for the side beat that does have combo conversions but too slow to punish all right absolutely and this match looking a little bit different from the last one last one we saw Nixie come out guns blazing this time around we have ling ling putting on a quick uh 90 percent on to Nixie. Absolutely. He's got the vest on this time. He's like, man, I ain't catching no bullets to the chest tonight. <laughs> For sure. Okay, how do you make it how do you make it back as Falcon? Your recovery is already a volatile recovery. Yeah, it's great because it has that command grab, but like it's if you can scout it out, it's pretty easily gimpable. But now you got Peach, one of the top I would say top three edge guarders in the game. Yes, easily. I would and say. 
how do you make it back? Like, that's going to be a really uh, uh, a problem for Nixie in this matchup. Exactly. Not only does he have sort of a linear recovery, granted a very good movement speed to follow it up, so he can yeah. mix it up when he needs to, but it's not disjointed. Exactly. And disjoints are like exactly. the big bane of Peach players. But because Falcon is the bullet, he is the bullet coming out of the gun uh -huh. at you, he's going to take trades sometimes, and it's always going to be in Ling Ling's favor. Uh-huh, for sure. Okay, nice. and that back here knock him to a great DI by uh, Ling Ling on that. Yep, good job floating out there, mocking, or not mocking, uh, making it look like he's coming back to the stage with Plump and fakes back down. Okay, and you can see even in this match, although it's still pretty high pace, uh, it's kind of taking a slower tempo than the first match. These guys understand that, okay, I can lose a stock at any second. It doesn't take long for you to kill me. Let me see if we can slow this one down and pick my options a little bit better. Yep. Ling Ling especially playing a little bit campier on this one because he's up a stock. He doesn't need to rush anything. He can get stray hits. And as you said, Peach very good at converting off of stray hits. Exactly. So if she gets, say, oh, I'm going to play back a little bit, I'm going to toss out a down tilt. You get that? That's another 30%. And I'm still up a stock. That sort of deal. He can sit on this 136 for as long as he wants. And personally, just looking at Ling Ling, I've played him in bracket. If they, he's an outstanding player. If there's one uh, key to his game that um, that maybe I, I would say that he could improve on is is the neutral aspect. It's, uh, once he gets that hit, it's great. But it seems like in the neutral, it's sometimes hard for him to find that way in if you stuff him out properly. So I, I, I'd like to see if Nick C can uh, excel on that. Yes. We're seeing right now, still not managing to stuff out this stock at 173, living rather high for Peach. Recovering low gets him with the parasol for another extra percent or so. Yeah. Oh, this is looking scary now. He could actually edge guard at this situation. Mm -hmm. And that, absolutely. And nonetheless, Nick, uh, Ling Ling has been doing a phenomenal job. He has uh, Nixie in a situation where he could die right now, and he's still on Yo, his first Yo, that out-traded the Falcon Kick. All right. The, what was that, Nair? Okay. Up yeah, yeah, yeah. So that actually went right over the Falcon Kick and uh -huh. hit his head, which is why. It didn't yeah. out-trade it, per se. But sitting at 163 nice. on the same stock, now yeah. this is really deadly. He can basically just take a straight hit and yeah. die for it. It's a scary situation, especially with Peach back here. Peach back air, Peach forward air. And that's the thing. Back air and forward air have a really good uh, rhythm mix-up uh -huh. to them, right? Back air is instantaneous. And if you're afraid of it, you got to act now. Exactly. Forward air has the wind. So if you guess wrong, you have a split second to tell, wait, I'm dead. Uh-huh. <laughs> crowns you. For sure. And that, and that was, as we saw, uh, Ling Ling lived to about 180 just now. That's one thing that I had trouble on uh, uh, personally when I played him. We had great uh, transitions, but it was very hard to kill him. And when Ling Ling doesn't want you to kill him, he'll keep that stock for a while. Nice. Yo, goes for the tech. Uh, doesn't actually, I think he maybe could have gone for a punish or at least taken his turn there off of the tech, but no such luck. Yeah, he's not. I he's love, not. let me explain to you what just happened. Mm -hmm. Ling Ling threw up the turnip and he was able to continue his edge guard. He actually went back, picked up the turnip with down tilt as opposed to plucking a new turnip on its way down, and he was able to have enough time to continue the edge guard. If we had replay, it would be great. But that was such a like <laughs> top-level situation. If yes. he didn't pick up that turnip with down tilt as opposed to uh, uh, plucking a new one, he wouldn't have had enough time to continue the edge guard. That was so sick. Yeah, a very good call out. And very difficult to come back in that situation. You'd yeah. seen that he'd stuffed out... Um, Falcons jump. And yep. I did also want to talk about something that had occurred previously on that. Sure. You saw that back air into down smash. One of uh -huh. the big things about Peach's float is that it doesn't work in the same way with a lot of aerials are and that they'll follow a set jump bar. You can do things like approaching or fleeing back air. So what he yeah. did is he approached with back air, he done a cross up and then went for the down smash. Yep. So even if like that wouldn't have poked shield, if he had managed to tilt the shield, he would have had to follow that. And that's ambiguous as hell. Yep. You can do that sure. all the time. For sure. All right, coming into game three, going to try to bring it back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Mm -hmm. and, and just to add on that, uh, the shield poke mechanic is is definitely a thing with that multi-hit. Once he starts, oh my, are we looking at a Twitter combo? Yep. Are we looking at a Twitter combo? 92%, it's not even 30 seconds into the match. Slow down seconds. a little bit, Ling Ling. I like 12. a chance to check my watch before the game is that's, over. <laughs> that's wild. And Ling Ling is one of the only Peaches. We've seen lots of Peach combos on Twitter. We've seen the Zero to Death, we've seen all of them. Ling Ling, one of the only ones that I've seen, uh, pull it out in bracket. Falcon kick. Yo, Falcon kick anti-air. That's some next level play. Good <laughs> pivot grab, running right under, taking him off stage, and now things on the other foot. Yo! He knew. That was so good. No other character in the cast would have been able to avoid that situation right there. Yes. That was wild. 
That was so smart. And you knew the second that Nick C got hit, both of the players knew exactly what was happening right yep. there. And Nick C went to upbeat towards him, but he was like, okay, I'm not making it back. He's not hitting the button. He yep. already knows. And look at this pressure. He is pressuring him in the air, on the platform, down on the floor. Like, Nick C isn't safe anywhere. Yes. And if you'll notice, when he's doing the hop over that get-up attack, that's still chasing if he uh -huh. tech rolls. Mm -hmm. It just happens that, like, oh, what? I can react to you getting up in place? That's perfectly fine. Yep. Stuff's out the Falcon Punch. Nick C trying this. to make something work here, but all the Go momentum jump. is current. Certainly in Ling's Ling's favor, looking like he might take another yeah, stock. There that's it. Goes. There it goes. And that's the thing. A lot of players, they haven't caught on to it yet. The only way to get around that turnip off stage, you got to catch it. Yes. You have to learn how to catch the turnip, or else the Peace players are on this top level will make you eat it. For yeah, sure. Absolutely. And you know what? Falcon looks like a man who eats his vegetables, but you can only take oh, so yeah. many raw turnips to the mouth before you have <laughs> it, man. This is Popeye's uh, big brother. Uh, <laughs> Captain, Captain Popeye. Yeah. <laughs> Arr. They call me C Falcon because I eat these back airs. <laughs> now look at this. Look how easy it was for Leaning to get back to the stage and even uh, uh, gain advantage. Get, get out of this event and gain advantage in the new Very strong. Jumps right over. All right, down smash, shield that. poking. Uh, tech read dangerous situation. Actually punishes the back air a little too close to a shield on that one. Uh, and there you go. And that's one of, that's one of Nick C's uh, bread and butters. Personally, he's a Spike Falcon. He, he knows how to get his spikes, as you saw when he played Anti earlier. Yes. But the thing is, Ling Ling can just float out there and make you exhaust all your resources before he has to put himself in a situation to get spiked. Look, here's the thing about that. Not only is float a good option, but uh -huh. Parasol is deceptively disjointed. Yes, And it's absolutely. very hard to spike. Absolutely. Even with Falcons down there. He can do it, but the, the window for him to get it is so small, it's yes. like... It's, uh, it's small enough that it's basically a guaranteed trade if you actually do Yeah, it. exactly. That's not a bad trade. Don't get me wrong, but it's very difficult to land. Uh-huh. For sure. All right. In the back off stage. Sitting on Nixie's tournament stock right now. Looking a little dire. And the fair? Going to do it. Do it. That nerf ain't do it. Uh, he, uh, that move ain't getting nerfed that much. <laughs> you, will, you will eat this crown. <laughs>